Good morning everyone. I am going to do a bonus bonus this morning. I thought both the readings were quite heavy this morning so I wanted to sort of see if we could get a bit of a lighter reading to finish the day on. So I'm going to do another reading and I'm going to ask for something that's um, a little less strong. I think it's something to do with the moon cycles at the moment and I know that um, there are people on here who do astrology but the energy has been quite different this morning. It's much more sort of, I want to take this seriously now. I'm ready to take something seriously. I'm not messing around anymore. It's sort of that sort of energy. Like, I mean business. So let's have a look and see what comes up in the bonus bonus this morning. Okay. All right, there, look, see, they're five of cups. <laughs> so some of you are looking back at the past and not seeing what's in front of you here. So this is often the card of remorse and regret, sadness. Um, it, it's like you may be stuck. This black cloak sort of denotes depression and sadness. Um, this person is still looking back at the past without noticing the beautiful cups they have in front of them. There is... Three Cups here. Now, the Three of Cups can talk of celebration, jubilation, remin uh, reminiscing. Um, it can talk about uh, reunions. Um, in my experience, it often comes up when there's a third party in a relationship and someone has to make a decision about whether they're going to move away from this energy or not. I want to say that the Temperance card is here, here is beautiful because this talks about things being in the right place at the right time um, she is the card of balance and the card of divine timing so it looks like things are being brought into balance here by the universe so the universe is trying to get you to move forward on something here okay so there's a gift there's an offer coming in from a page of pentacles so there's some sort of karmic event that needs to be um, put right here um, and the universe is sending something in to show you that everything is okay, everything's on its path, everything is where it should be. So let's see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, we have the judgment card coming out. So for some of you, this is having an opportunity at something you've missed out on previously. The judgment card talks about rebirthing the phoenix, bringing things back from the dead, um, having an opportunity to put things around the right way by having a second chance at it but a chance to get it right this time. Now that's beautiful. So we have the Ace of Swords following this up. So with these two cards here together, I would say you have a chance at making a new start in something because you're clear about now, you're clear about what you want. You have absolute clarity here. The universe has helped you with that chariot, see what's in front of you. So you're no longer clouded. It's like you know how to move forward. All right, so we do have the card of the Nine of Wands here. Now, the Nine of Wands is the card of the Wounded Warrior. So it could be that you've been maybe apprehensive about taking this chance or moving forward with this. I've got to say, this poor guy in the Nine of Wands is looking at this Ace of Swords in a bit of a sort of freaked out way. Um, I think that moving forward here and making decisions based in your own happiness has been something that's been perhaps quite difficult for you in the past. Um, unfortunately, we're socialised to believe everybody else in the world is more important than us and our needs. Um, and I remember saying that at one time and somebody said something about your own children. And I thought, yeah, your children are completely dependent on you when they're small. Absolutely. But it's your responsibility too to teach them as a parent how to, uh, how to give an equal take and give in relationships, how to respect others, how to love and care for people. But it's also your responsibility as a parent to help your child feel loved and that they, in turn, love themselves for who they are. So it's sort of like with this nine of wands, I'm feeling like people were perhaps not given that opportunity to understand their importance in the world and the love that they needed to have for themselves because they've been hurt a lot here. So the Page of Wands is coming in next. Now, the Page of Wands talks of some sort of message, some sort of passion being pushed forward here. And I feel like this guy here, see, if you look at this story here, this Nine of Wands guy, he does have this one wand in his hand and he does want to offer that to someone here. So he is walking away 
after looking at this situation here, he is walking away to offer his wand to someone else. Now that can be a little bit sexual there too, um, but we'll just run with that at the moment. Someone's feeling very passionate about someone. Could be dealing with someone who's a, 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 a fire sign, I was going to say, no, um, could be. Uh, this is someone that's most likely Libra Gemini or Aquarius, but more likely that this person has taken that sword up because they lay right across the Ace of Swords here. So they've decided now to move forward in their truth. They've decided to grab that Ace of Swords and move forward after experiencing this Nine of Wands energy here. Okay, and look, the Hierophant's coming in here. This person craves stability. I don't think they've known stability. I feel like this is a brand new opportunity for them here. That's what they've realised. This is the clarity now that they have here, is that this sword, this moving forward in their truth, is what they've always craved and wanted, and they're after that stability. I've got to say they could be doing it in a very fast and passionate way. So if you're going to receive a message from someone or you're sending a message out to someone, can I say to you, you might have to do this Nine of Wands energy here and slow things down. Um look how the cards reveal themselves so we have the nine of swords we have the page of uh, sorry the nine of wands the page of wands in his hand and then we have the eight wands here which is the nine of wands so i want to say to you you need to be very careful you don't move too quickly on this um i'm not saying that it's not fun to rush into something if it's passionate and someone's sort of disclosing their feelings to you but what I want to say to you is this is a time to make sure that you relish every moment of this experience that you take your time with it um, this is something yeah so you're saying goodbye to anything that you've had previously that no longer serves you you're closing out a beautiful cycle here look how you're coming out with the strength card some of you are dealing with people as i said who are fire signs very strong leo here and moving away from things that no longer serve you so some of you here are bringing in from facing your truth standing in your truth you're bringing in this beautiful energy here of wanting to move forward quickly it's like having that um you know that idea that epiphany moment things rushing in very quickly and wanting to act on them and be spontaneous and be driven by it and rush in but what the universe is saying here very very strongly is you need to be grounded you need to have your strength with you you need to make sure 100 percent that you're going in the direction you want to um because now you have this clarity, it's like you want to rush things and you want to bring things into fruition. And the, the idea of this Nine of Wands is to stop, make sure you have boundaries in place, make sure you're not going back to a situation that isn't the same as the last situation. This judgment card here says that you want to rebirth something. So you could be going back to someone from your past. Um, the Three of Cups up the front also talks about reunions. So it could be that you want to reunite with someone. It could be that this judgment card is just about you having another chance at life and another chance at love. But whatever it is, savour the moment. Don't rush it. Take your time with it. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the Animal Spirit Guidebook here. And the lamb has come out here. I think this card is absolutely beautiful. But then I do love animals. Okay. We have the card of the lamb. And the lamb is an earth sign. Um, let me just find him. I'm pretty sure he's right at the end here somewhere. Okay. Oh, telling fibbies. He's hiding away. Okay, so the lamb is about patience. <laughs> You're so good. The universe is so cool. Um, the lamb is the bearer of an important message. Its contents can be only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guidance you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Through the, although the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit, still, listen, receive. So this is about like inner knowing and balance. 
um, and I feel like this is what's happening here. So it's like your ego side wants to move quickly, wants to sort of shout it out to the world, yell it to the people, whatever you want to do. There's this sort of feeling here with this Ace of Swords that you want to rush in to battle and do whatever you need to do. And the universe is saying here, especially with this Lamb card here, is that you need to sit, take your time, do it in a way that benefits you. You are leaving behind a lot of things here you're leaving a behind negativity you're leaving behind this un this emotional unfulfillment um and you need to find your stability in this process you have the strength you have the fortitude to go forward no doubt about that whatsoever you can definitely bring in what you want here but take your time enjoy the moment thanks everyone